What's good, y'all? It's boy Ross back at it again with another video. So the discussion has come up recently on what match should main event night one for this year's WrestleMania. And I've seen a lot of people on Twitter talking about EO versus Bailey should be the main event for night one at this year's WrestleMania. And you know what? I'm all for that. I am all for EO and Bailey main eventing night one of this year's WrestleMania, mainly because of the story that they have been telling for quite some time now. Um, this is one of the longer running story programs that WWE has been doing, and they have been putting out teases for a while that Damage Control eventually was going to turn on on Bailey. And I've been loving just the slow cook of this story. I've been loving the fact that the fans have been on this ride and we've been waiting for when the turn was going to happen and we knew it was going to happen at some point and I've been enjoying it. Uh the fact that damage control was I guess you can say in a sense created in uh 2020 no, 2022 at the SummerSlam, that year SummerSlam when Bailey came back and then she had uh, EO with her and she had Dakota with her. And then, you know, they kind of created damage control then. And then they eventually added um, Kyrie Sane and then Asuka. And you could see things were starting to happen. Even during, uh, like, when EO first won the women, uh, Women's Championship, you can see that she was feeling some type of way with certain things that Bailey was doing and felt like she didn't need Bailey's help. So it was just one of those things where you you were just waiting for when the shoe finally dropped, the other shoe finally dropped. And I've been loving the story they've been telling. I, I've been loving the fact that Kyrie Sane and Oscar was added. So it's really this situation of a group of women, even Dakota kind of, you know, being buddy-buddy with them, but a group of women just siding, you know, with EO rather than the person who actually created it, which is Bailey. She's the one that created the group. And to see her lose control, but always be supportive, always be the one to take the bullet in a sense when, you know, someone's trying to attack EO, she's the one to stand in front of them, always being the one to try to help, even when they tell her not to help. You know, it's, it's, it's a cool story and a dynamic to see, especially with Bailey being a heel. Bailey has been a heel for, you know, a while now. Even before she got injured and came back at SummerSlam, she had been a heel for a while. And to see the progression of her doing everything she can for her so-called friends, only for them to be talking back, talking about her behind her back, always laughing at her, making her feel like she's the butt of the jokes, but she's always supportive. And you knew she was going to have to be a baby face in this situation because there's no way people were going to boo Bailey. Hell, even before the Royal Rumble, people were chilling, cheering Bailey because I think, especially in wrestling, it's fans want a, a, a wrestler that has a little bit of edginess to him. And before Bailey turned heel, she she was kind of this bubbly person that literally would do some of the dumbest stuff for a baby face or just a human to do because it's the right thing to do instead of trying to, you know, actually, you know, win matches by any means necessary without overly cheating. But, you know, like add a little bit of aggressiveness, a little bit of edge to what you're doing. And when she finally turned heel, it was refreshing to see that. And now we've gotten back to that point where I don't think she should be that naive baby face, but a, a baby face that understands the game of how things need to be played in the wrestling industry. And I think that's what we got. She's not going back to her hugger gimmick, which she didn't need to, but more or less a person that's battle tested, been through a lot of stuff and know how to move kind of like the way she handled herself when she let it be, you know, was about to decide who she's going to pick. She already had a lead pipe under the ring. So, you know, she figured they were they were going to try to jump her. The number games, numbers game wasn't going to be in her favor. And she started popping people with the lead pipe. So, I, I like that. And once again, the story they've been telling with 
eventually how EO is going to feel about, you know, her now that um, she's challenging her. Obviously, she doesn't like it. She's challenging her at WrestleMania. And this has always been some some type of underlying situation that Bailey has known that damage control, you know, the rest of everybody's not really rocking with her, but she tried to salvage it as much as she possibly could. And I love it. I'm loving it. The story has been told, been they've been telling, and it deserves to main event night one. Now, I know there are rumors that The Rock, uh, Rock Roman, supposed to be having a potential tag match between Cody and uh, Seth for night one. Me, personally, I don't think that needs to happen. And even if it does happen, in a perfect world, still, Bailey being the Royal Rumble winner, should be main eventing night one with EO. But once you put the rock into any situation, that's probably going to be the main event. So I don't know if that's happening. I hope that does not happen. They deserve the main event. It. Bailey is the Royal Rumble winner. And EO, be honest with you, her title reign has been kind of okay at best. It's really been kind of lackluster in my personal opinion. Um, I do think she can go in the ring, and I, I think this one-on-one -on -one should really uh, expound on that. I'm looking forward to this match. I think it's going to be a really, really, really good match between these two ladies. Um, to be honest, both women top championship runs have been okay at best, but I think the story and them being in the factions that they're in, that's what's been helping. It's not even that the fact that EO's the champion is more or less the fact that we know we, you know, we kind of had an idea. Bailey is going to go after her. And we were kind of waiting for that one-on-one -on -one match for her championship. And I think a lot of fans were waiting for that. So that's where it is right now. If I had to choose who would win that match, I would give it to Bailey. I, I think EO's title reign has been okay. In my personal opinion, there hasn't been too many matches where it's just like super memorable. Her match she had with Bianca earlier last year at backlash that was in my opinion one of her, my favorite matches from her that match was so damn good for sure so um you know it could be one of those type of situations um i'm not i'm not really too sure how they're gonna play it out but i would go with bailey uh winning uh the championship from el because i i think bailey you know definitely deserves that uh, another title reign but as a baby face this time this time and hopefully it is in the main event a night one at wrestlemania so comment down below let me know do you guys feel like bailey versus eo should be the main event of night one at wrestlemania if you don't agree with that um let me know why you don't feel like it, they should main event night one if you do agree let me know why they should and if you feel like the story that they've told so far is deserving of that but i appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace